Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Growing Clip Bonsai for Seniors. My name is Tom Novak, and today is May 17th of 2024. It's Friday at 68 degrees Fahrenheit or 20 degrees Celsius. It's about 8.15 p.m., give or take. <laughs> today we're doing OTC, Observe, Think, and Then Cut. We're going to look at our maple and our Fuki and tea, plus what is it? Now this, this is something that would, is going to make a good accent plant once it starts to grow. It's in pure unmilled sphagnum moss. What is it? Ah, that will be in the next video because I got two of them. <laughs> so today we're going to tackle the maple and the Fuki and tea. My Fuki and tea has been dead twice because... When I gave it away to one person, they didn't water it. I got it back. Another person wanted it. I says, okay, give it a try. They didn't water it, and I, it came back to life for me, so I'm keeping it. I'm not giving it away. But right now, oh, and Mr. Elephant says hello to everybody. <laughs> and Pinkie Pie as well. Uh, she's over there. And then you can see I started my cuttings over here. And I also did the leaf cuttings because I never took before, and then I tried all the other ones. So we'll just see what happens. You yeah, never know. But right now, we're going to work on this maple. Now, this maple is done the Brian Batch Elder method in just pure unmilled sphagnum moss. And there it is, packed, packed to the hilt. Now, I'm going to have to do some weeding on here later. But as you can see, in the grown clip method, this is a big bulge right here, a big knot. So the first thing we do is observe it, check everything out and see what we want to do and if how we're going to try to train it to grow. So I think right now we're just going to cut this big knot off. And I'm going to take my ironwood pruners because you know nothing cuts wood like ironwood. And we're just going to cut it off right here. You're going to say, Tom, it's going to bleed. Well, if it bleeds, we're going to rub the sap over the wound to seal it up. But we're going to cut it right here to take this knot off. Now, will this, this grow into a twin trunk? I don't know. So, we'll stick it in here and see if we can root it. But that's how it is. And I feel no sap coming out of there. So that's good. So this is going to really grow up and out, but I'm going to cut it back to here, hoping, hopefully I'll get some back buds. So I'll just hit it at a 45, just like that, and we'll stick this in and see if that roots. You never know, you never know. But this is just unmilled sphagnum moss. Now we're not going to do repotting on this, because right now it's still good. No roots coming out. We'll do that later on in the fall. But I'm just going to take my lipstick and just hit it over the cut end. Just to seal it up. Because lipstick is, remember, lipstick is just natural wax that women put on their lips. So this natural wax will help preserve the cut and keep it from rotting. So we're not going to do nothing to the top here. Just dab it if there's any sap there. And we'll go from there. We're going to let it try and grow and see what so, see what we get out of it. But so far in the unmilled sphagnum moss, it's grown good. And look how nice and thick this trunk turned out. And the label's gone. I don't know what happened to it. So what I usually do, like from the nice blooming jasmine, I had two labels. So I just cut it and then just I'll write it and I'll reuse the label that way. Now, my full can tea... It's pukey in the basement, but there's nothing we can do about it. This is it. You can see how scraggly it is, and it's. I just gave it a good soaking. So, this Fukian tea is from 32421, and it went through a lot of bad, bad ownerships. And I gave it away, and they tried it, and they just gave up on it. So, I'm going to take it outside and let it grow, but first I'm going to take off all some of this dead stuff here. Now the only thing 
I'm going to clip is this new growth here. I'm going to cut it back to about maybe here, right about there. Let's see if you can, I can turn it around. You can see it right about here and let this grow out a little more. And I'm going to cut it just above this node or the brain. So with that, ah, uh, there we go. And we're just going to cut it right above the brain. I'm going to say, Tom, will this root? I have no idea. But the only thing I can do right now, since I got this all in water, is to put this in water, let it re regenerate itself. And then I'm going to cut this back to right above the brain. Just like that. Let's put this in water. Well, you know what I'll do? I'm going to put it into here, and then I'm going to fill this up with water so it stays hydrated for a couple of days, and we'll go from there. Let's see if I can root that, but you can see all these stubs and stuff. I don't know what's alive. I don't know what's dead, but I know this stub right here. It's downward, so I'm just going to get it like that. And this is more of a cascading effect. So right now, this one can come out this way that's growing here. And I'm just going to cut this into here. So you always think. Always think what you're going to do. You, you observe your tree real good. And you're going to say, Tom, what should, you're going to say to yourself, what should I do with it? And you're just going to. Cut off this dead stuff. And I need my toenail clippers here to get it closer. So let's get that closer. Just like that. And you know, the leaves are a little scraggly because it's in the basement. So we're going to put this outside. Tonight I'll find a spot for it. And let it go from there. But you can see it's more of a cascading effect. It's going down this way. So I'm going to have to get this section to grow so it can start, and this section here to start going this way. But right now I want this to get some vigor because right now in this long winter's nap, see everything can flow out that way. That's a growing clip. I don't do wiring. I don't, I don't believe in wiring. Even if I have to, I don't. And this one here is a kukadiku way, so we're going to just cut it here. Let it sit in water, and then we'll see if they root. I don't know, but we're going to get them a good soaking for a good 24 hours. I'm going to pour this in here. And we'll go from there. So always observe your tree, see what you want to do with it, think about where you want to cut it. I know there's a lot of junk on there, and I know there's a lot of weeding I got to do on this one. And then you go and you cut it because you can't glue it back on. Well, you could. You can say, hey, everybody, and then hope, hope maybe it, it would, it would fuse together. I don't know. Never tried it. That'd be a good experiment for some people. And we're going to cut this back to here. Just cut all that dead stuff off. My toenail clippers because I just seen that. And then we'll just get our lipstick and just give it a touch up. Just cobwebs. And where did I cut this one? I don't even know. Here. And a little bit here. And we'll go from there. We'll put it outside. So, always think before you cut. And this is a good Fukian tea. It, it, it lasted a long time. So we're going to see what's going on. And this, I'll tell you what's in the next video, what it is. And this will make a nice accent plant. Plus, it's got an also, also it has another added benefit. So some of you might know. 
And some, I, I know Jonah and Alma, I don't know if you'll know about it, but give it a good guess. See if you can come up, see what it is. <laughs> so you take everybody, short video, Friday night, dance night. Grandma, get Grandpa off the couch. Get your sweetie off the couch. Put on some big band music. Get that pot of tea going. Do a slow dance. And hey, if you can't dance because of the arthritis or you just ain't in the mood, at least put on old time big band music. Cup of tea together. Hold each other's hands. Sit back and relax and enjoy the music when music was music. Because you know music ain't music no more. <laughs> you take care, everybody. You have a good day. I mean a good night. And remember, go for it and try the Brian Batchelder method. Pure unmilled sphagnum moss. And look at this maple is great. Take care, everybody.